Good evening, today is October 14th, 2016. I'm Brittany Muller here with your Citrus TV News Brief. Here are tonight's top stories. Today marks the final day that New Yorkers can register to vote for November's general election. Anyone can change their registration through the DMV's website or IWillVote.com. SU students can sign up to vote around dining halls on campus or at the Shine Student Center. The $6 million spent on the University Place Promenade was just the beginning for Syracuse University. Later tonight, Citrus TV's Brendan Tierney will report on the new changes coming up with the campus framework plan in the years to come. Syracuse football hosts Virginia Tech in the Carrier Dome tomorrow, but it isn't any normal game for the Orange. Members from the SU football team are creating a touchdown drive every time the Orange scores, a touchdown against the Hokies. Pledge members will donate money to those with rare diseases and their families. Fans are encouraged to visit pledgeit.org slash Syracuse 16 to make a pledge. The Obama administration had big news for Cuban-American relations today. The U.S. eased restrictions on exports to Cuba, strengthening its ties with the Caribbean nations. The changes allow American citizens traveling to and from Cuba to bring goods back and forth more easily. If you take a look at the quad cam, the sun continues to shine here in Syracuse. Temperatures are currently in the mid-50s, and we should see them rise back up to 70 for tomorrow. Rebecca Castor will have your full weather forecast coming up. And that's all for tonight's Citrus TV News Brief. Make sure to tune in shortly for news live at 6 with Brooke Glatz and Johnny Oliver. I'm Brittany Muller. Have a great weekend, Syracuse.